Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my videos. Today, guys, how to get every single stand in a universal time. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I was actually really confused. I streamed this game earlier, and I was actually really confused on how to do anything in this game. And over the stream, I obviously I learned how to do everything. So, if you guys enjoy this video, hit that like button, click out for more, and I hope to see you next one, guys. Let's get right to the video. All right, so we're gonna start off with the really, really simple stuff. The main way to get Shadow Dio, to get Golden Requiem, to get Crystallized, Star Platinum, King Crimson, Bite Snake. And the nuclear dude is you get that by just using the normal arrow right here you use it you use the normal arrow here to get all of those stands they're considered the basic stands in the game and they're obviously the easiest to get the way you can actually find the arrows for these stands is on the mountain up here as you guys can see if you go over to the arena right here over to the right there are meteors that spawn on the mountains right here and you can pick those up to get to get arrows and that's how you actually get stands in the game now how to get the omni tricks is actually up here on this mountain and over right here on the beach sometimes a metal meteor will spawn it'll say alien pod you just want to interact with it and that's actually how you get the omni tricks now please note if you do not have a stand if you have a stand equipped and don't want to replace it do not open up the meteor because it will replace whatever you have and if you say no it'll disappear so just keep that in mind before going for the omni tricks now this is actually what the omni tricks looks like when it spawned now the way to get x car which is actually the big sword is you need to get the sans bone now the sans bone you can go up here and dig over here in this area i'll show you guys here in a second you can dig up in this area and that'll also be how you get a couple of the other stands but you could also go over to the shop if you go over to the shop right here you could actually buy the sans bone but please keep in mind that this is extremely expensive and it's better just to dig it up or get it from someone else by trading because it costs 150,000 coins now the normal arrow you can buy from here too but it is very it's very cheap compared to the sans bone after using the sans bone what you guys want to do is you guys want to you guys want to use X Soul on yourself. If you guys use X Soul on yourself, that's actually actually how you get the X Kara. Now, this is how you get Sans and X Kara. Now, how you get White Snake, Sea Moon, or the World is you need to have you need to have White Snake right here. So if you have White Snake and you have Dio's Bone, you get this quest and it will make you able to get Sea Moon. Now, once you get Sea Moon, you need to have Dio's Bone again, and then you take this quest again, and that's how you actually get Made in Heaven. Now, how to get Star Platinum the world is you need to have Star Platinum first. And after you have Star Platinum, you want to walk over here to Jotaro. Now, Jotaro right here, he'll let you take a quest, but you have to have Star Platinum and you need to have the hat. If you click OK, you actually need to find his hat first. His hat is a rare spawn that spawns around the map or you can get it from chest. His hat will drop and you need his hat to be able to take do this quest. Now, how to get the normal of the world is you need to first have Shadow Dio like I have right now. After you have Shadow Dio, you need to go through the woods here and there will be a chance of a Shadow Orb spawning. It's It'll have the name Him. And after you after you take that quest, when you have Shadow Dio equipped, it'll let you able to... It, you do that quest after accepting it from the person and that will that's how you actually get the world. First, you need to get Shadow Dio. You need to take the quest. It spawns around the trees in this area and after you take the quest and complete it it will give you blood and then you use the blood on a new shadow deal and that's how you actually get the world now in this area it's actually how you get tusk in devil deeds done dirty deeds done dirt cheap that's actually how you as you guys can see there are like mounds in the distance here i'm gonna go up and go up to it and dig it and this is also the area where you get gaster but i'll show you that after so as you guys can see there's a mound here and you want to hold e on it and after e it'll let you dig it up now there's a chance of getting the heart which will give you d4c and then there's a chance of getting the arm which will give you tusk i'm pretty sure you also need to dig up more parts of this area to get the evolved version of tusk so this area is going to be pretty important if you want the corpse parts now i also have to note that this this place does drain your hp quite quickly and the spawns are very rare for how many mounds there are and this they are not very frequent spawns in the area so just keep in mind i would recommend if you're outside of this area and you have a high graphic distance to actually see where the mounds are before running in here just so you don't like die before you can even get any of the items now the way to get gaster is you want to run up to this npc in front of me as you guys can see you want to run up to the npc and take his quest his quest is going to be obtained gaster and he will give you a ton of quests you need to do and these are probably some of the hardest ones this is one of the harder quests in my opinion the hardest quest to do is the sea moon and made in heaven one in which i am currently still doing but yeah that's actually how you get gaster you want to go over and talk to that dude now the way to get shadow the world requiem is you need to find the cursed orb now the cursed orb is a percent chance to spawn in the chests that spawn around the city it's a one percent chance to actually get the cursed orb after you get the cursed orb you could just use it with shadow dio and that's how you get shadow the world requiem now to get the dawn sword you actually need to kill the dawn boss i do not know exactly where the boss is but you need to kill the dawn boss and get the item and you need to be standless when you go over and interact with the sword it is on top of the mountain over here 
by the city and it's by Dio. Now this is actually how you want to get the world over heaven. You just want to go, we'll go over and talk to this dude and then he'll give you a quest that you need to do. The quest is actually quite difficult to get completed, but this is how you get this is how you get the world over heaven. Now how to actually get Ultra Instinct Mode or the Goku, the, the Dragon Ball Z thing, is you want to go up to Goku. You need to, actually you need to find seven Dragon Balls. I already have one, but they spawn around the map and they're actually extremely hidden. I found the one that I found in the houses over here. Anyways, guys, so going to actually be all the stands that I currently know how to get in the game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and for more. Hope to see you next one, guys. Bye-bye.